It's a wonderful old pub. The minute she walks through the door, you have that, the smell of the beer, the warm welcome. In the winter, we've got the log fire going and it's a blazing fire. You can always feel it as soon as the door opens. Food is at the very heart of what we do. We have such fantastic locally sourced food. Very important to us that as much as we can will come from the local area. I just think it's really nice when you know that you know your chickens have just come from up the road and it's always if you, you personally know it. The range of offerings that we have in Poppy's Barn uh, is very, very good high quality breakfasts. Uh, we do light lunches, sandwiches, jacket potatoes, but our speciality are homemade cakes and scones alongside premium teas and coffees. The quality of the goods is superb and I always believe if you put good quality ingredients into whatever you're making, you're going to get good quality product at the end of the day. And my favourite thing to cook actually is the Poppy's breakfast using all the good quality ingredients sourced locally and presenting it well on a plate. We are a restaurant and pub and hotel facility. So the Cricket Design itself has been here at least 160 years that we know of. Also from a restaurant perspective, we have a full a la carte menu. We're an AA One Star Rosette restaurant, which is fabulous. So one of the things that we pride ourselves with regards to our drinks offering is we also use local suppliers as far as our ales are concerned. We also work closely with Saffron Grange, which is a local vineyard. We have become more and more of a destination pub and renowned for our food. We've been very fortunate enough to have very few but very good chefs work with us. The range that we have for real ciders, we have seven traditionally pressed western style ciders. Being a freehold pub means that we don't have any ties on the actual products we have to stock. So if it means getting in my car and driving to far flung areas of Essex to meet Dave and Jill and Pauline out in a barn area somewhere just to buy 40 litres of traditionally pressed cider. That's part and parcel of what I do. It's the joy of going and finding these small batch producers and bringing them to an actual bar where we can actually sell them. Whittington is a little rural village in Essex that has been described as Essex's largest cul-de-sac. So there's only one road in and the same road out. We have people coming out of London because they want that countryside break. We even have people coming up from Devon and comment on there's actually more thatched cottages here than we've actually got down in Devon. The strong community spirit that we have here is that it is picked up by people that aren't necessarily local, people who just stop off one-offs. Um, they often leave here thinking, oh my goodness, I wish this was my local, it had such a good vibe about it. They will go into Saffron Warden because they've heard it's a really nice market town and you've got Bridge and Gardens. What this area is renowned for is its walking routes. If you go in one direction, you've got the sailless windmills, which are very, very pretty. English heritage site called Priors Hall Barn which is the oldest style of barn of its sort in the south of England. People will go to Audley End, stay here overnight. Many people just come to visit us to take advantage of the walking surroundings, which includes the very, very famous Bluebell Woods. You can do a full circular walk, which takes you past the beautiful fields, round to the church, across the ford. It's voted several times into the top 100 of best places to live in, uh, in the UK. It isn't like anywhere else in Essex. The whole area around Uttlesford is just beautiful. 